Oh man, it's your boy Defoe and Sloan. He's rocking with hip hop since 1987. Ah! Hip hop since 1987.com. You. How's it going? How you doing? Yeah, what's happening? What's happening? What's the deal, man? How you feeling? No, I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling blessed. How about yourself? I'm doing good. I can't complain. You know, Brady just just I'm feeling good. I know you got to be feeling good, bro. You just you just celebrated your birthday yesterday, bro. You got to be feeling good. No, for sure. True. Yeah, happy belated, man. I was hoping we got to do this interview yesterday because yesterday was my birthday too. I was about to say, well, damn, this would have. Been a great birthday surprise for me. Your birthday yesterday too? Yeah, man, life. Taurus all day. Yeah, hey, I ain't know that. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah. I was gonna get it yesterday, but uh, I got you I know you was probably getting lit, so I ain't even gonna stress it. Uh, no, for sure. But um shoot, I think the last time I actually seen you in person was um it's probably like January, February at the TLA. That was the last time I seen you in person. Yeah. Yeah. Um so uh, you know, I'm I'm shit, I'm just getting this joint started. Um, what's good? What's going on? It's your boy Next with Hip Hop Since 1987. Uh, I got my guy D from Sloan on here. Uh, we're about to get this interview started. Um, I'm I'm just gonna throw it at you with one of your verses, bro. Uh, so threw the ball at Will, and now they label me an actor. <laughs> so you already know what I'm referencing. So how would you say? How was your experience as far as? being on the first first not even just like the first season on a random episode you was on the first season first episode the staple of what starts the whole fresh prince story how, how did that feel it was amazing with a great experience you know just being able to be around that environment and that acting environment and that whole scenario was just like a great experience for me you know what i'm saying and being on that episode just being like the reason that will went to bel-air Dang, did that make you feel? Did that make you feel some type of way? They made you the. You, they made you the reason that he had to leave. No, 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 no. That was it. Was it was, it was legendary? You know, it was legendary to me. You know what I'm saying? Because like that's like the whole, and it showed a background reason and story on why on how it all transpired. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. No, I definitely feel that. Um, so since was that your first acting opportunity, or or did you kind of have like some experience prior to that? Yeah, it was my first. Okay. That was, was my last, though. That was my first. <laughs> so, okay, so that goes to my next question. So since being on that episode or since having an opportunity to kind of, you know, branch into acting, do you kind of see yourself wanting to pursue more opportunities in acting, whether it's in TV, movies, or so? No, most definitely. Yeah, I I, I actually just uh, I finished filming a, a movie last July. It's supposed to be coming out called Old Heads. Watch Apex now. You, you can catch that on there. You download Watch Apex. Uh, this is show that I can like, I can like lead a movie. You get what I'm saying? Lead as a cast. I mean, lead as a um, star cast. Okay. Okay. But yeah, that. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna start like pursuing more. But I just been like focusing so heavy on music that I really ain't get a chance to really start like really. Auditioning for more uh, big shows and movies, you get what I'm saying. So, I, so I've been like so focused on music. So once I signed my deal, now and I had to focus like directly on you know, just like building my catalog. Now I'm on type time where I'm about to just like build up that 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 uh resume of mine, like acting. You get what I'm saying? Right. No, I definitely feel that. And uh, let me be the first to say, you know, again, congrats on the deal. Congrats, you know, with the deal with AWOL. You know, definitely congrats to that. That's a major move because I know for a fact that from from West Philly, I, I think you're really only one of the like probably one of the first people from West Philly to actually get signed signed a deal from West Philly. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. First off, uh, my brother since the antenna signed before we did before I did. So yeah. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Oh dang. Yeah. Almost definitely part. Yeah, you know. Shit. Okay. Um. So as far I as deal though, you hear me? Said so that again. I probably saw one of the biggest deals to come out the city though, like the biggest deal. Mm -hmm. One of the best deals too. <laughs> you know. So I not not to not to you know say anything bad, but 
if you was to go back, would you would you change it? Would you be like, you know, maybe maybe throw an extra five on that? Like, would you would you go back? On my deal? Yeah. Like, would you go back and be like, hey, throw throw a little extra on that? No, everything had for a reason. I wouldn't say that. Everything had for a reason, you know. Just we still working, like you know. So I mean, I'm 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 blessed. I'm grateful for what I got. Yeah, that's what's up. That's that's great. Oh yeah, I, yeah. It ain't never. It ain't never too much. You know what I'm saying? So I, for anybody answer that question, they say yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm uh, I'm, I'm grateful for what I did receive. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're being humble because I mean, really, you could have got um, couldn't have got it at all. So. You know, that's, that's definitely good. That's that's great to hear. Um, as far as as far as the, my last question for filming, as far as um films or TV shows, anything of that nature, um, do you kind of see yourself at some point wanting to do like your own thing, like like your own thing as in like your own type of series, like something yeah. like being a writer or a director or things of that nature? Yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely. I ain't like really ain't really like putting nothing in like play mm -hmm. as of right now. Yeah. Sooner or later, really. Okay. So, something in nature, like a, a power, like a, something of that nature, like a BMF, something that, that in that uh, category. Okay. So you definitely see yourself along the... Yeah. So you definitely see yourself along the, the drama standpoint from what it seems like. Yeah, for sure. You know? And yeah, for sure. The movies too, but I'm saying I would want to start off with like a series... And like move over to like movies, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm in the movies, action movies, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, drama. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, from what I also know, I think besides music, besides the acting, uh, you also kind of dabbled into some modeling too. Um, mm -hmm. with some clothing brands and a few magazines. Like, how how did you kind of get into that? Like, how did you transition into that? Uh, just my team, you know, my team. We uh, we was moving over into like the um the fashion, more into the fashion world, fashion week, and uh, my uh my business manager, my partner, my business partner, manager Rashin, he uh was connected. He uh reached out. He got in contact with this guy, Michael C. Smith from New York, mm -hmm. and uh, he just like introduced the opportunities. You know, like, made the connections with the people. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. So was like, so was New York Fashion Week like your first opportunity, or did you? Like, yeah, did yeah. You... I've been a few New York Fashion Week, like few, like few, like last year and the year before. Okay. Yeah. Um. By any chance, was there as as far as once you got into the whole fashion world, was there any particular brand you would like would have liked to aim for to have that had a chance to work with? See me personally right now, as of right now, what are we talking? Mm -hmm. I would I would want to work with who I would want to work with right now. Mm -hmm. I would want to do something with like probably like Polo, Tommy Hill figure, uh True Religion. A Mary. I'm like a Mary. Okay. All right. Um, so we're just going to go back to the music. Uh, as far as you and crazy DJ crazy, y'all been hitting the streets heavy when it comes down to, to, to bangers from swag talk to, to Vogue love that y'all just been hitting the streets heavy. And I think even currently to this day, swag talk is doing, I think like, like close is coming up to like five mil on YouTube and views. And I think on your Spotify is coming up to like six. So, you know, I just got to, you know, I, I'm wondering, but I know a lot of other people's wondering, it's like, how how do y'all do it? Like, how do y'all make, you know, those hits literally really hit? Like, how, how do you, how do y'all do it? Like, how does that process go? Well, you know, crazy, he, uh, he, he blessing with it, with it, with it, with it, with it, with it, with a crazy beat, crazy sound to it, crazy, like just different flows. Like that, I can just come up with with it. I mean, like he yeah, send a beat and it like keep the beat keeps switching, the tempo of the beat keeps switching, mm -hmm. and I just do my thingy thing on there, you know. Mm -hmm. I do my thing, you know. What I mean, it's just like lightning in the bottle, you know. One plus one equal two. <laughs> so, 
like like just like give me like an example of how like like a normal session would go. It's like, like would you say it was like y'all hop in the stew from 10 a.m. and then it's like y'all not done until I, I, I never like 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 I never hopped in a um for like swear talk. No, I didn't hop in the studio crazy with those records. But I just was in the studio with crazy recently though. That's the thing. Like so on these new records y'all gonna hear that I got with crazy. Mm -hmm. There was like ones like I was in the studio, like he uh came through, he played a few beats. All of them was fire, you know. But I uh I think I recorded um uh, two of them right now, like two two new beats from them. Like going on like my project that I got I'm um I should be dropping soon. Okay, okay. And uh and, 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 and crazy yeah, he got some shit with him, you know. He got some shit with him, like his his, his whole thing elevated. Go sound with his beats and all that production elevated. You know what I mean, so y'all gonna see how I'm coming on them. Like I say, I always say like like the the club beats right now. Like a lot of people got like crazy. Like a lot of people like different with the beats. Like and he one of them. You know what I'm saying? He one of them. Like and his, they beats is like fire. A lot of people beats sound the same. And I like and I keep it being like like people might send me a whole bunch of beats and I might not record them because it sound like it's something that I already heard. You know? Right. Still, like some of the beats he sent these, and, and but but how I always go about it, the beats got to keep up with me, you know, because I'm I'm gonna take it to the next level. I'm gonna do my thing on them every time. Nah, I so so how did that chemistry? How did that relationship start? Like how did you and and you know you know because sometimes when you got to find your match, you know, it's a little difficult. So how did y'all end up finding like your match? Like how did you figure out? That hey, you know, this is gonna be a good fit. Once, uh, what song? What's the first song I record? Like first song with like a beat. What was first the first beat I did with Crazy? Uh, I'm trying to think. It was the first beat I recorded with Crazy? I recorded like Sway Talk and just like that around the same time. You know, so yeah. I, I'm trying to think like. But when I did Sway Talk, I really freestyled the whole Sway Talk. Like after like. Like the I'm a golf first I would, but I had said like that first part to my golf bro. I had wrote that down already, and then add that like dodging deep look for me with the key first out that whole part. I'm up to cast me go fuck up my news to Taz and Skeeto. I need a thought hoochie. I want your box coochie. After that, after I ain't gonna look at I'm bougie. Everything else, the whole song was a freestyle afterwards. So just 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 me getting swag. I'm just talking how I talk. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. But, but but when I but as me, he he fucked that beat up so bad that it was easy for me to just like you know it's it, it, like it matched it already it was like it was destined you know what I'm saying? Mm. So like the way I flew through that whole beat and it just was like but I'm trying to remember when I recorded like my brain all over to that I'm trying to remember when I recorded just like that that I recorded that first. Moral of the story is that his beats just matched my whole thing you know what I'm saying? Right, like. Even even with a little bit, a bit of a hiccup, you know, you, you managed yeah. to flip it around, which is yeah. And I record a Vogue Love, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I really can't even remember when I recorded all these records, like <laughs> which ones I had to record first and which one I recorded the second, you know what I mean? But I just know, like, as time went along, I just kept flowing, flowing, and just like, but these new songs. Okay, so so based on that right there, you just said your new song. So, so currently, you and DJ Crazy, y'all got some new songs in the works. Now, yeah. as far as when we can expect them, like I already know the summer is coming up. So I'm assuming we should be expecting them sometime when the summer starts, probably middle of the summer. Like, what would you say? Oh, yeah. Summer, y'all gonna hear a lot this summer. The summer, I'm taking the whole summer over. Like, I know y'all hear like some stuff I got like going like 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 crazy right now. Like, I got something to take that right now. I'm going crazy called Tete Mama. Mm. And, uh. Uh, a record I'm gonna drop, produced by Mini Boom, called Blah Blah Blah. Okay. Records drop. These gonna be two singles. Then y'all gonna get the project. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm assuming, of course, they're gonna definitely be able to find them on all platforms. Or is there a particular area they're gonna be posted up oh, first? You can find it everywhere, but the, the project gonna be crazy because y'all get like, if you know me, if you know, if you've been following Deform Journey, not even just Deform Sloan Journey, Deform Journey. Period. From Back in 2017, 18, you see how me and Ski came, the wolf and demon. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're going to get a wolf side. You're going to get a wolf side of the project. 
Mm-hmm. Well, all the grittiness. You won't get a, a Jersey Club swag side, swag talk side. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. I have sure I definitely look forward to that. Um so from okay, so I, I just gotta make the statement. So from a visual standpoint, all the visuals to all your tracks is is, is damn near fire. It's, it's not even damn near fire, they're they are fire. And you, know, you worked from from visuals by Luke to EGS Films, uh, and like a lot more people. Uh when it comes down to coming up with those concepts and ideas, are are they mainly just you? Or is, is it like it's definitely a different time? Like so, I each video got like a different like one time. It might be a video where I just come up with like, damn, I, I want this video to just be exactly like this. I'm gonna come with an idea, woo, woo, and I'm gonna, and whoever I'm shoot with, I'm gonna bring to them. Or it might be a time where I send a song over to Luke and uh, and Breeze, and and they both come up with like a little concept, and I add how or I tell them how I wanted it to be, and they just write a concept around it. And then they get their ideas and just we just mash them together. And then uh, Raheem might have some ideas, depending on what the record is. He might have an idea and he might send it along. We just build off that plus his and theirs. It was depending on what we shoot. It depends on the record. You know what I'm saying? Right. Every record, basically every record got a different story about him. Every every video shoot ain't the same, you know? Right. No, I definitely feel that. And um, I, I personally have to also say, you know, definitely shout out to, to Visual by Luke. Um, I definitely mm-hmm. just, I just met up with him yesterday and grabbed one of his hoodies. Um, he also told me to tell you. He said, "What's up?" Also, yeah, that's my guy, gang. <laughs> that's my guy. But no, yeah, every story, like even like I got videos I done shot with uh on my page. I got who who else was uh I shot Swiper by a day to day chase. Mm-hmm. I'm with like the whole concept with that, like saying like Swiper don't swipe, don't swipe, then you don't want beef. Like somebody watching my video that I'm the video of the video that I'm shooting actually for the swiper video. Somebody watching that while in the swiper video, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they typing on the keyboard under the comment of the video while they watching it. See, I only mm-hmm. listen to the song. I gotta watch. I can see now. You got. Now I gotta go watch the visual because I only want to listen to the So like that, then you got. I just shot uh, run for his run with Ted Official. I watched that. Yeah, I watched that. One. And we can and we had the. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, with Hitman vibe to it, you know. So it was just like came up with that with a few uh with help from uh a few makeup artists that uh we had. It was a lot. Like it's a different story for each video. I would have to go deep into explanation. Like you know, what I mean, my brain, I can't even think all the top of my head. But each one is a lot. Director K Davis, I shot he uh Sister with Vogue Love. I had a different few shooters in that video. Okay, okay. Um, so I, so I don't, I don't want to, you know. That's what I'm for. Just thinking it? about swag talk because my head is moving right now, my brain is moving. Just thinking about swag talk. Right. We shot that video out in New York, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 uh, that's when like like uh, Luke, Luke he uh, Luke embraced. They came up with their ideas. Or Luke, I think it was Luke for the first half. He came up with ideas for it. Uh, Rasheen came up with ideas for it. We mixed them all together. But the video, we was holding on to the video for a little bit, for a little, for a little minute, you know, as the song was going up more on TikTok. But I was looking at this thing by the video. I'm thinking like, damn, like the video ain't complete. And I thought like a month later, like the video ain't complete. And I just hit, I hit uh, Luke up. He wasn't in the, in the town, so Embrace had to come through. And I say we gonna go downtown, like down like near Broad. I forgot I think we was on Broad Street, and yeah. uh, and we brought a, a Bentley, a Bentley. Uh, Truck out there, and I said I'm gonna just sit in a car with his hoodie on and get a girl in a passenger seat while I'm riding downtown. You know what I'm saying? So was it some random girl you grabbed, or it was like you? It was some people you already know. Uh, um, I guess she had a TikToker. Okay. <laughs> I mean, little neat. Because you're, you're probably the only one from like on ETS film set and Luke set. That I haven't been on. Like I've been there when Rare shot beat it. Uh, I mm-hmm. was there when Lay Banks uh, shot her hit. Um, but your your set is probably the only set I haven't had the chance to actually be on and watch the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, we gotta get you uh, at the next one. I think I'm gonna be shoot. I'm gonna shoot Tet Tet my my with him. All right, but I'm definitely gonna tap in with him and and you know see if I could be a part of that set too. Um, so I do just want to let you know because I don't want to hit a topic that you don't feel too comfortable with. 
Um, it was a topic about your about your bro, defense uh, from Schiano. Um, yeah. so are you okay with discussing that? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, so I know we're kind of coming up on a point where we're coming up close on three years since. Mm -hmm. Um, just curious because it's like you know sometimes with a lot of like groups or sometimes with dynamic duos or you know, major, you know, good groups that come together when sometimes a member is gone, some people mm -hmm. tend to lose a little motivation, you know, as far as, uh, you know, keep pursuing the music. So if you had to play what motivates you to want to keep on going. Yeah, well, you know, when when when, when that situation first occurred, I, uh, I, ain't, I, I was, my mind was somewhere else, you get what I'm saying? So I wasn't really like doing too much recording music, too much, you know what I mean? Too much of none of that. I wasn't really like in the studio. I wasn't really worried about music. First few months, couple months, you know. But then you, then I had to sit back. Like, I had to catch myself. Like before, I, before I just like crashed out going down the wrong path. Mm -hmm. I had to catch. I was like, damn, like if I was to leave all this long, like him dying, it already was like, damn, like everything we worked for on your behalf, it was all for nothing. You get what I'm saying? Right. Because now you're not here to uh, witness none of. the None of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's from what we built through the years. So if I was to go down the wrong path, let's just go down the wrong path, keep going down the wrong path. Everything on my behalf too would just be off for nothing. So it's like this whole our whole thing, slowing scan, all that was for nothing. You get know what I'm saying? Right. So I just decided to just keep keep going, you know. And it would be like, and then it was like. That's all I know, you know. It ain't all I know, but it's all I know. Like I, 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 I ain't finished school. I, I dropped out for a reason. They like tell you this to do this, do music. Mm -hmm. My whole life, like revolving, like this is my job. Like you know how somebody might gotta get up at like five o'clock every day and say, "Damn, I gotta go to work." Like my job, damn, I might gotta this thing at nine o'clock or I gotta go to the studio. Being in the studio, just like music is my, it's my job. It's my occupation. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um. So I put like this. I, I wouldn't even say call it your job. I say call it your career. Because sometimes when people have a job, they don't really yeah. like it much. Like, this is the, like, you can obviously, like, we can all obviously see that as the years progress, this is something that, you know, not something that you just wanted to do, but something that you love to do, something you enjoy to do. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, you don't just wake up and be like, oh, damn, it's time to go in the studio. I'm pretty sure you'd be hyped to drop another track when you got walk in that studio, especially if it's it's somebody... For sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, it's a job, but I, it's, I love to do it. This, this is what I love to do, you know what I'm saying? It's like, mm. it's just my career, but I, I call it like a job because like at the end of the day, I ain't just going to stop, you know? All right. No, I definitely feel that. Um, So, so since, so since his passing, um, is there anything that you wish to do or or are trying to do to push towards being against gun violence? Like the fact that, you know, like, I mean, being from Philly, you know, I'm from North, like from Badlands. So I'm I'm aware of it. Um, are, is there anything that you would like to do or anything that you're currently do to try to like try to combat against that? You know, try to steer, you know, the next generation you know, from that, because, you know, your, like, your music alone is, you know, carrying the next generation with it. Uh-huh. No, y'all know for sure. All I can say, realistically, is just, like, stop the violence, you know? Mm -hmm. But just seeing how it go down, it's, it, 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 it's like, it really ain't too much people can do, it ain't too much people can say, you know? No matter how how powerful a person is, how much how much leadership a person has. It's realistically nothing nobody can say or do, you know? Mm -hmm. No, I definitely feel that, yeah. And I like just be too cliche and, and say stop the violence like that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just, you know, yeah. I like it. Definitely is. Um, so... I, I got I got a I got a personal question. So um looking at a lot of times where you say there's an artist you particularly want to work with, you always mention Doja Cat. Like I've I've heard you often mention over and over and over again that you want to work with Doja Cat. Um and you also have mentioned her in your recent track, uh, Vogue Love. 
so I'm I'm just trying to figure out like what's like we say work with. Are you talking about drop a track? Or... Yeah, I did yeah, well, drop a track with. I mean, it, uh, the way I was feeling before probably ain't the same way I'm feeling now. You know, mm. at that that particular moment. But yeah, I mean, I'm still open to work. But that ain't somebody I just really, really, really want to work with, you know. That ain't somebody I really, really want to work with. But I'm open to work with. Like, I don't even know who I want to work with now. Because like, mm. I, you know. I definitely listened to your um your, your track with uh True Rare Toughen Up. And I know you sampled your uh uh I know you sampled your drone with Crazy on that piece. Um so that was definitely fire. Rare actually sent me that song over. That was her song. Oh really? Yeah, he sent me that song. So he had assembled that, and he just uh, had sent it over to me when I was out LA. I was out LA when I like first signed. I was out LA for a month. Mm -hmm. and he sent it over to me, and I just recorded that in like twenty minutes. Oh damn! No so it seemed like yeah, yeah. As far as like dropping a hit, it's it's, it's like only takes like twenty minutes, to 20, 30 minutes for you, right? Yeah, me and Ray got a lot of songs, but we got we got a few songs. Okay. No. Um, so I brought this up a lot to like a lot of old heads, a lot of people are older. Um, and I've heard uh -huh. you say a lot that when it comes down to like coming up with that 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 grittiness tone from you, you know, that 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 style of yours, you know, for you, you create that. And I brought this up to like a lot of like old head people, like old, like old, like the older generation, and a lot of them feel like that you kind of got some inspiration from from like people like DMX. Mm -hmm. they also do that. It'd be crazy. I, it's crazy, right? Cause I, I fuck with DMX, right? And that's like one of the first rappers I ever heard of. Like just like going to like my mom's CD. But it, it, it really it, it really it really wasn't that though. But when I say like think about it now, like now that I'm older and I and I know what type of music I make and I look back and I really listen to his music and I'm like I'm old enough to like understand what he's saying his music. I mm -hmm. try to like uh I try to like give him like, I try to like, uh, like shoot over to his fans, like his fans, like and try to do something like on his behalf, just cause mm -hmm. like I guess a lot of comparison there, you know what I'm saying? But right. with me, we never tried to like, it wasn't never like no thought like, damn, like, damn, everybody saying like DMX, like, you know, it's right. just that the voices just were similar, you know? No, I don't like, even the rap was like, we rap a little different than him. Like, we, it's like, we really, we got like a thousand flows and we just, we rap, like, we rap, man. We got the, uh, with the ike and the, uh, uh, like, doubling the us, tripling the us, quadrupling the us. You know what I'm saying? Single, all that. Like, it's just like, it's different. It, but it was never no, no, because I remember like going to visit Lee was back in 2019 and he had compared, like, then, like, it's like, damn, like, y'all like the next damn next, like, we're like the beginning gang twins, you know? With that rule, you know what I'm saying? Just different names, they just throwing out there. Which I'm saying was like it's definitely like I got a new generation. I got like a whole nother twist on turn. But it was never, it was never like that. It was never, it wasn't never the case. No, look, I don't feel that. I, I'm, I'm just but saying what I've heard it's like now, like people listen to it, they might, you know how it go. Now people listen to it, like, like damn, like it just gave you that feel, like because like you know, no, you that feel, so you know. But I'm glad it. I'm glad. I'm glad it became. You know what I mean? They, they, they fans, his fans, and stuff like that. Compared to one of the greats, you know what I mean? R.P. Dmx. He yeah, was a legend. Definitely R.P. Yeah. Last question. Um, ladies and gentlemen, quick because I know you got stuff to do. Um, so you've been, you know, on the move from music to fashion to acting. Like, what's next for you? Like, what do you feel like was is, is, is next for you? Well, so next to me, I as I said, I uh I really feel like I didn't everything just start and I ain't really accomplished what I want to accomplish it. I ain't really accomplished I ain't gonna say I ain't accomplished nothing. You know, um I'm, I'm, I'm gonna switch that up. Uh, I ain't really accomplished what I wanted to accomplish it and it's just the beginning. So uh I'm a uh win a Grammy, Grammy or two, three, four, five, six, uh go gold, platinum, diamond, a few times, a few uh uh, lead roles in a few movies, shows, and yeah, and, and start my own brand, own clothing brand soon, you know. And then I feel like I 
I feel like I'm in the middle. When I say I started in the beginning, I feel like I'm in the middle of where I want to be. I feel like I'm in the middle from where I say I'm where I'm at right now. I'm just like I'm in the middle, you know. Okay, so you you feel like you know you're, you're getting there, but you just haven't gotten to where you want to be just yet. No, for sure. Okay, no, that's what's up. That's definitely understandable. Um, but yo, uh, Sloan, definitely appreciate the time. You know, we we had a little technical technical difficulty moment right there. <laughs> my fault. Yeah. Um, you know, again, you know, if you could, you know, drop all your information, you know, so the people can, you know, find you, people follow you. I mean, if they don't know who you is, then they are living under a rock. But just let them know. <laughs> no, you know, man, I go by D for him, Sloan. If you don't know now, you know. You can search up anywhere. D for M. You see D for M. Sloan. Everywhere with the money sign, without the money sign, it's gonna pop up wherever you go. Google, Twitter, Instagram. Even if I don't got it, you can find me. Just you know. Bet, bet, yeah. sure. And if you could just also let them know. Um, you know, again, what's like the next coming work? Like what's coming up next? Like what's the work you got on? Uh, I dropped two more singles, you know, Tet Tet My Mind, blah, 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 blah. And you know, after that, uh I got a I got a project that's gonna take over summer, you know. Just stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram if you really wanna like stay like in tune and locked in around with me right now as an uh, artist. Uh that's where I post most of everything at. You can find I keep you updated with my whole shebang, my whole life, my whole career. You know. But for you sure. Know. I'm I'm sorry, I don't I don't mean to add this in there, but I also did I remember seeing your vlog and um seeing your vlog in Atlanta. I think I think you posted yeah. it in Atlanta. Yeah. All right. You enjoy the rest of your night, Sloan. You know, get lit. I know you're probably celebrating your birthday for the entire week. Oh, man. Happy belated birthday to you, too, homie. Salute. Happy belated birthday, bro. Gangsta. Hip Hop since 1987.com.